Hello beloved, I hope you are doing well. I just wanted to make a quick video about something that I think, I think is perfectly obvious to me. Apparently it's not um, to other This isn't a conspiracy. This is just a spiritual reality. So we know that in Genesis 6, it talks about basically the Nephilim. And there's different ideas for if they're still on the earth or what that means. And I'm not going to talk about that. Since the beginning of time, demons have been appearing to people and saying, I'm the God of this, I'm the God of that, or I'm this, this ascended master, or I'm this spirit guide, or I'm this alien, or I'm this whatever, worship me. Or depending on who they're talking to, like if they're an alien, they may be like, you know, I have some stuff that's going to help your civilization. They want a foothold. You know, in Ephesians chapter 6, it talks about we wrestle not against flesh and blood, against principalities and powers. A lot of my videos, especially more recently, I talk about open doorways. Um, there's a lot of different ways that we can have open doorways. It can come from, obviously, a lot of fantasy and... Um, sci-fi stuff but it can also come from you know watching materials that are sexually explicit it can come from watching really really violent stuff as well i mean it's just sin a lot of people in false religions say like the new age like we have you know people that come out of the new age like steven bancars that would have well he didn't realize there were demons at the time but have these real entities appear to him and kind of this idea of, you know, this is what you need to do to reach enlightenment it depends on what kind of form of spirituality you're in. Obviously, I'm sure a lot of my viewers that came from some kind of occult practice before coming to Christ, you guys know what's up. You guys know that this stuff is real and, and there are spiritual sense on things. That's why we got to always, when we buy something, especially if we buy it secondhand, Pray over it. I just really feel like, you know, this is really important because a lot of people think of oh, ghosts, spirits of deceased loved ones. No, they're not. No, they're not. The Bible says it is appointed for man to die once and then the judgment. You either go to heaven or hell. It's clear. Up or down. I think hell is in the center of the earth, but that's said. So like these ghosts are not really ghosts. They're demons. They like it when people pay attention to them. They, they like to be paid attention to. So people in these false religions are not stupid, not dumb. They're not making stuff up. They have real spiritual encounters from demons. That is why things that have to do with these occultic practices are so dangerous. There, there's some spiritual force behind it that is not from God. Remember, there's two kingdoms, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan. And if you're not with the biblical God, you're automatically with Satan by default. So um, be blessed. Love y'all. Bye.